it's Dan Weisberg. It's our opportunity for another tour, another day behind the fence. We really have a lot to show you. We really have made progress. I think it's going to be exciting to see what we can show. Right now we're at the curb drop-off where we are really going to enter the campus. We've never been able to show this before. We've always had to work from inside the building. Now we're outside looking in and this is going to be the main walkway. This is what you're going to see when you approach. You'll see the remodeled, clean facade of the temple. You're going to see the living room with the overhang. In the background is the chapel deep in the campus. To our left, that's where the new administrative building is going to go. And to the left of the administrative building where we now have a very large open hole from the donut portion that's been removed, you're going to see into the rotunda where the school is. As you can imagine, uh, there's a lot that we're going to have to accomplish to landscape and irrigate this piece of property. You may wonder what this big hole is here. This is going to be part of the new drainage system. It's actually going to be a holding tank, like a big cistern, where water first fills and after it reaches a certain height, and then the overflow goes out into the uh, drainage system. Behind me, you can see where the Jerusalem stone wall will progress to the vestibule, and that's where we'll go on into the social hall and sanctuary. New restrooms are on the right, and you have this large glass opening, which will be sliding doors, which will open out onto the campus. So that's what we're going to have on this portion of the uh, entryway. Towards my right, that's the gallery. That's the other place where we're going to be using this as the focal point. That is the gallery which will take us into our sacred spaces. At the far end will be the chapel and meditation garden. And halfway down along the chapel will be the path where we go to the rabbi and cantor's offices. This will become a memorial wall. This will be a more sacred space for us as we go deeper into the campus. Notice right here as we enter, on the right, we will have the new gift shop. There's a large double pane glass door with full visualization of the gift shop and a large new open display case. So right here is where we pass on into the sacred space. This is the center. As we pass through the gallery along the uh, memorial wall, we'll come out to this open glass space and you'll see the meditation garden behind me. On the east side, that's where the administrative building will be. You can see the school on the back side where we've removed some of the arches to create a uh, more unified space. And if we go further along on the gallery in the other direction toward the west, we'll enter for the uh, clergy's offices and further on to the chapel. Now we're at the entrance to the chapel. Behind me, you can see the structure really taking shape. Now that the uh, plywood is up, you can see the thick walls, you can see the support, and you can see the towering ceiling above. This will easily hold 70 to 80 to 100 people. This is going to be a jewel. This is where we're going to be able to have really special sacred types of the events. And God said, let there be light. SCE cooperated and here for the first time as we walk down this back corridor, we have lights. Notice what we can see. We have a rabbi's office that's lighted. We have a cantor's office that's lighted. And when we get to the library and boardroom, you'll see it's all lighted and looks terrific. This is the library. And as you can see, there are new fixtures and indirect and direct light above. And you can see that the uh, bookcases are going in, they'll be on the wall. And on the far wall, we have a credenza and a big screen TV, which will all be used for uh, purposes of teaching, study, and all that can be uh, accomplished in the library. This is our new boardroom. You've got to marvel at the size. We're gonna have a big screen, 70 inch TV. We'll have credenzas. We're gonna have everything that we need so that this can be a great functioning boardroom and also a space that we can use for other functions. Here we are in the sanctuary. You can see the pews have gone in, they're covered. The other thing that you should recognize is all the efforts that have been taken to improve the acoustics of this space. 
The new wall is an acoustic wall. The ceiling, as you can see, it is staggered. Not only does it draw our attention to the central sacred space, all of this is going to help to create a great sound environment. In the ceiling, you can see three spaces. That's where our speakers are going to be recessed. Also against the backside is our Jerusalem stone, where we're going to have the beautiful jeweled glass. I think it's also important now that we're going to be able to bring a partition across which truly is soundproofed. To my right over there are the electric motorized doors which will swing across and completely close this space and help with the soundproofing and quality of the sound in this room. We're back where it started. This is where the fire began. And now you can see what a new environment has been created. Look behind me, you can see all the new equipment going in. We have freezers, refrigerators, prep stations, cleaning stations, you name it. This is a much larger, much better space. I think all of our mitzvah meal people are going to love it. It's hard to believe this is where it started, but look at what we've got to show for it. Thanks for joining us. Next time when we get together, there'll be even more to show. All of this dirt, much of it's going to be landscaped. The hardscape will be in. Within the next few weeks, we actually are going to be in the social hall and sanctuary. By the time the high holidays are here, we will have much of the living room and the administrative building prepared. By next October or November, we should be able to finish the whole thing and actually get into the chapel. Once again, it's Dan Weisberg. We've gone behind the fence. See you next time.